tradition, order, and personal responsibility are paramount. Look, I think going to the Libertarian Convention is smart. Uh, according to Gallup, they represent 17, 20 percent of the American electorate. Maybe you shave off 8 percent of them. That can make a difference in a very, very tight presidential uh, race. Regardless of the reason, going to the Bronx is important. No one should be presumptive to assume that people of color are going to just vote one way purely because they're black or because they're Hispanic. That seems to be the case for my Democratic friends. And I think it's why a lot of people of color are looking at Joe Biden and they're realizing that my life is not better. When I go to the grocery store, things are expensive. Uh, the infrastructure in my surrounding community has not improved. And when I think about the future for my children, they're still in dilapidated schools where the educational system is deplorable. So that, that's the Democratic message in my perspective. And so to have a Republican show up, whether he's being booed, jeered, whatever the case may be, he's showing up to places where Joe Biden is not. And I think that's going to make a difference. Singleton's observations on the declining state of traditionally Democratic communities highlight a glaring failure in both leadership and policy. People are witnessing firsthand how Donald Trump's approach stands in stark contrast, presenting active, tangible efforts to address these deep-rooted issues. He emphasizes practical solutions over mere political talk, concerns about skyrocketing food prices, crumbling infrastructure, and failing education systems are front and center, resonating deeply with the public's worries about economic stability, community resilience, and educational reform.